Gerudo Desert Gateway. Alright, so actually right now the temperature is very comfortable, but I'm assuming it's going to change quickly. And we really have no choice but to run over here. I'm actually going to take a short detour over this way. I want to see what this little canyon over here is all about. And we do have a red pin right there. That's probably a shrine that I scoped out before, so we should probably go do that while we're in the area. Okay. These guys are so hard to hit when they're jumping around, guys. I think, while I'm out here, I am going to throw on a speed potion. If I'm going to be running around the desert, I might as well be doing it as fast as humanly possible, right? <laughs> so at least it'll be somewhat more bearable that we have to hoof it freaking everywhere. But now we got to find a stable for an actual sand seal to help us get around. Which I guess there's one by the city. We just have to get there first, but there's got to be more than that, right? Oh, we lost our radar. God damn it. Oh, the sandstorms, guys. I wonder if there's a way around that. Like some kind of item we can get that's like, Oh, now you're impervious to sandstorms because reasons. Magic. Trust us, it makes sense. Luckily, these guys are very weak. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, not even giving them a chance. Mm, actually, that's going to take... Wow, yeah, he's all in my nuts already. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Lots and lots of damage because this suit's armor is not great. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll throw on our actual desert clothes. That has some pretty decent armor right now. And we get shock damage resistance, so that's pretty nice. And then let's just eat a little bit of food, get our hearts back up. Might as well just pound all these. They don't serve any purpose now other than healing. And I want to stick to my Master Sword, actually. Just use it through all the durability. But first, let's try and lead these guys back in here. So that I can blow them all up. Really? I was going to say, they better get in here. <laughs> oh, no, it's... Oh, it happened, guys. The Master Sword is out of energy. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go back to this thing, then. It's going to make this fight harder, though. I got to get out of here. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Holy shit. Oh. So many Los Alphos, guys. <laughs> you knock that off right now. Ooh. Ow. Okay, how about this? How about a couple of nice elemental arrows just to get you guys to drop all your shit, stun you up for a second. Ooh. Damn, these guys have health though. Okay, there's another weapon down. Let's move on to this guy. Spin attack of doom! Oh, he cut me off. Spin attack of doom! <laughs> oh, that's so effective. I love it. Urgh, get back here, you fucker. No, he cut me off. What an asshole. Okay, we've almost got everybody. And I want to make sure that I don't lose the loot from the silver guys. There it is. 
See, look, this guy just lost interest again. So quickly, he's just like, eh. I don't really feel like doing this anymore. The battle was almost over. Get back here, fucker. There we go. Okay, that was a fight, yeah. Guys, the desert is not screwing around. There are so many strong enemies in this place. It's nice, though. It's nice to have a challenge. A Gerudo Spear with Long Throw. Okay. Hmm. Do I want that? Probably not, actually. I don't really think I have anything that I'm going to drop for that. Now the question is, I can't place a pin here because my radar screwed up. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh well. Maybe we'll be back here someday. Maybe we'll be able to find it again. In the meantime, I can't actually see the place where I dropped that pin that's supposed to be housing the shrine. And what is that thing? What are you? Oh, it's a sand seal. I didn't take a picture of one before, apparently. Okay. So if I sneak up on this guy, I could probably ride him, right? Don't spook him. Don't spook him. He spooked. <laughs> They're so sensitive. Every time. Oh, fuck yourself, buddy. Almost feels like you have to put on the stealth clothes just to be able to get close to these things. I do wonder, though. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can stun him with an arrow and then just run and get on top of him. Kind of like a Lionel. <laughs> it didn't work out, though. Get back here! Ah, you can't just run up on him, either. You know what? Fuck you guys. I hope you get eaten by these coyotes, then. If you'd rather have that than be ridden by me, then... Be my guest, jerks. See if Long Couch cares. I'll come back and loot your corpses too. Make some sand seal steaks. It'll be delicious. Best steaks anybody's ever had. Oh fuck. Alright, let's climb up top here. See if we can get our bearings. Being in a place like this really does fuck you in multiple ways because we can't even teleport out of here. Shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I got this! Yeah! <laughs> okay. So, we got some heights. Doesn't really get us out of the storm, though. Let's come over here. There's gotta be a way to negate this effect at some point. Maybe once we get inside the town. Maybe I should try and get in there before we screw around too much out here, because this could actually be screwing myself trying to explore before I have everything that the town could offer me. I don't know. I would think that there'd be some way to get around this, but I also thought that about the fucking rain slick game mechanic, and that turned out to not be true. <laughs> At least so far, I'm pretty sure. This definitely has its intended effect, though. I'm not even sure if I'm running in the right direction now. I feel like the town's back this way, but... It's very disorienting. I actually don't know for sure. So I guess I'm just going to run this way and see what happens. I do see some kind of light up there. Like a torch or something. In trees. Did I actually find it? Oh, I did! Nice. Okay, Kara Kara Bazaar. I can't remember, does this water heal me? Nah. There's probably an inn I can sleep at to heal myself. 
They're not going to give me two options for that. Well, first things first. Before we get too far into doing whatever we're going to do here, I want to find that memory. And I think... Ooh, there's a treasure chest. I didn't even have to feed a dog for this one, guys. How about that? Nice. I see you, lizard. You think you're safe right there? You're not. Get in my pockets. Okay, so this place isn't huge, but we do have to find the right perspective. Let's take a look. Uh, album. Here we go. So many menus in this game, guys. Okay. This picture here, from the perspective of the memory, it's pretty close to the water. We can see the fire pit, and we can see the, uh, whatever that building is, with, like, the curtains hanging down and the brain-looking top. <laughs> Right there. So it should be right over here. On this side of the pool. Not sure how I didn't see this before. I guess I just never got close enough to this spot. But in any case, let's check it out. I kind of wish that was a little longer. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was neat and everything, but I wanted to see that entire fight. <laughs> I wanted to see past me fuck up those Yiga guys. Hmm. Alright. That is our... Second to last memory, guys. And look at this. The last one that we haven't found yet is the one at the very end of the list. Some nondescript forest somewhere. We are going to have to find Picongo at a stable and have him point this out to us. Because there are so many places that could be. I could probably search this game for a thousand years and not find that on my own. <laughs> what up, Beetle? Hey! Hoo! We meet again! This heat might kill me, but not until I close the deal. <laughs> what are you looking for? What do you have now? More arrows, summer wing butterflies, cold darners, tireless frogs. All right, so at this point, I have over 10 of these ones in my inventory, so I'm going to chill on those, but I'll buy the summer wing butterflies. And again, guys, I'm mostly doing this because they're such a pain in the ass to catch by myself, and they're not that expensive. So I'm just kind of like, why not just fill out my inventory with them, you know? And, of course, I'll take all the arrows. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Beetle. <laughs> now, what do we need to do here? First thing I should do is actually probably rest up and get my hearts back. Who's this guy? Does it not go away? Yeah. I'm watching the sandstorm. Want to join me? <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. Sandstorms are pretty common out in the desert. If you get caught in one, you'll get lost for sure. But I hear that sandstorm over there will die down for a few hours each day, clearing a path. I want to visit that huge tower, but the sandstorm is in the way, so I'll just sit here and wait for it to die down. Or you could just come in from the other direction, like I did. 
But I guess you can't get around as easily as I can. Because I can teleport. What am I going to do? I... Guy. <laughs> this guy's name is Guy. That's actually not that funny, because Guy is a real name. It just seems funny to me for some reason. Hello there. But before I say any more, have we met before? I don't think so. I came here from Rito Village. I've been there. Oh. Ah, it must have felt quite cold to you, didn't it? I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try to earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day, it's been tough to work off the will to go any farther. I would like to see what Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. Uh. But they don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. I've heard insects with these cooling effects live in the cold parts of the Gerudo Highlands, but... Mm. Well, the monsters there are rough, to say the least, so I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated. Yeah. I could give you some. An Ice Guy side quest. Oh, could it be? Oh, we're just gonna give him an elixir straight up. Sure, why not? Ah. Uh. Thank you! Now I can get across the desert while it's still light out. Here, let me give you something in return. Okay, sure. Cool. By the way, in, in Gerudo, thank you is Sarkso. Sarkso! <laughs> Thanks, guy. Thank you for that bit of knowledge. Let's come over here and check out these stands. What a letdown. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's the matter? You've got this look on your face that almost screams, I gotta talk to you right now. Suspicious vendors. Mm. A suspicious merchant, huh? From my point of view, pretty much any merchant that isn't Gerudo looks suspicious, you realize. Still, yeah, I can think of someone. That one Vi merchant in full Gerudo garb. She frequents the general store a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there must be more to her story. But what do I know? Plus, I'm not going to poke my nose in another's business. I'm not entirely sure what we were talking about right there. Like, maybe I either forgot or missed some dialogue. Well, look, we can buy Mighty Bananas here. Oh. 20 rupees? Okay. Ugh, oh, now I've got to go get more. She's mad that I emptied her inventory. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to patronize your store. Bitch. Um, probably don't really need any of those. Leave that be. Who's this guy? I can't target him. Hey! A treasure hidden inside a sandstorm by an ancient civilization. Sounds like an adventure just waiting to happen. Mm. They say the sandstorm lets up for a few hours each day, but I haven't seen it settle down for even an instant. Any shifty merchants? Oh, this must be referring to the main quest. We're trying to find the person. Okay. Shifty merchants. Sorry, no idea what you're talking about. The only things I'm interested in right now are the sandstorm and the treasure hiding inside its storming sands. <laughs> and that brings me to my next point. Who are you? Um, champion of Hyrule. Kiss my dick, motherfucker. Who are you? A treasure hidden inside a sandstorm by an ancient civilization. Sounds like an adventure just waiting to happen. You're just saying the same things. Not now, you'll distract me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's talking about. Maybe the shrine quest that we already did over there? I don't know, he's not giving me any more details. That guy's kind of annoying. I don't like him very much. What's this person over here selling? Hey. Roasted bass, seared steak, and Lazafo's tails. I don't really need any of that crap. My K says, you want to know if I've seen a suspicious-looking male merchant? Mm. Suspicious, huh? Hmm. Ah, uh. uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I spend all my time right here, and I don't know how I'd tell if someone was a merchant. Anyway, there are highly merchants here, too. Why don't you ask one of them? Uh, okay. <laughs> mm. My little sister runs a butcher shop over in Gerudo Town. She's traveled all over, so she knows your language pretty well. You should stop by and... Mm. Oh, of course. You're a Vo, so you won't even be able to get past the front gates. Yeah, huh? thanks for bringing it up, bitch. Okay, so we just have to find a shifty-looking merchant. Besides Beetle. <laughs> Beetle is a shifty-looking merchant, but not the one we want. Nothing unusual here. Rip says, Savak. This is Kara Kara Bazaar. Gerudo Town is still a fair distance from here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though you are, though. Even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now, so I don't recommend going to Gerudo Town. There's this merchant. Huh? 
Oh, yes. And many, many more than just one, to be sure. That's because all the Vo merchants are gathered here, hoping to get access to Gerudo Town. They refuse to give up, even though Vo are strictly forbidden from entering the town. Although, now that you mention it, one merchant in particular did stand out to me. Oh? I saw a highly Vi merchant at the inn before. She was wearing traditional Gerudo clothes, which caught my eye. She's probably still around town. That Divine Beast is scaring a lot of people out of traveling. Oh. If there's anything else you'd like to ask, feel free. Okay. I'm on watch by myself every day, so it's nice to have someone to talk to. Well, tell me about the town, then. Oh. Gerudo Town is to the southwest. It's the biggest village in the area. It's famous for trade and also for staying active and vibrant all night long. <laughs> Gerudo Town's a party, guys. However, there is a law forbidding Vo males from entering the city. Oh. If there's anything else you'd like to ask, feel free. All right, tell me about the beast. I know you guys need help with it. Mm -hmm. You don't know about Divine Beast Vodna Boris? Supposedly, it is the guardian deity for the Gerudo people, but it suddenly started acting up a while back. There's nothing we can do to stop it either. It's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lightning. Oh, that's why we get lightning resistance on this armor. Though it hasn't yet, it could easily head toward Gruta Town or this oasis. I do my best to keep an eye on it from here. Oh. Okay. Oh. If you want to speak with the Gerudo, you should learn some of our language. For example, Savork is goodbye. Okay. Yeah, I've already forgotten more Gerudo than I've learned. Um, hmm. So, is this the inn right here, I'm guessing? There may be a shifty merchant in here. Ooh, they've got all types of arrows. How about these bomb arrows? 50 a pop. You can only buy one? There's no bundle? Oh. Okay, sure. Who are you? Oh. Kenora says, Savak. That divine beast, it feels like it gets a little bit closer every day. Oh. I wonder how long it will be before I can get back to Gerudo Town. Divine beast? Mm. When I say divine beast, I'm talking about that giant thing roaming around the deserts. It's been kicking up bad sandstorms, and apparently it'll blast you with lightning if you get too close. Mm. The thought of getting zapped is terrifying. I can't risk traveling to Gerudo Town. Oh. There's a town to the southwest made up almost entirely of Gerudo. It's the largest settlement in these parts. It's got a lively market and a canteen. The town's active from morning to night. Mm. But, well, they have a rule that'll affect you. Guys aren't allowed in. No vote may enter, they say. Yeah, I know all about that. Ooh, recipe. Okay, butter, sugar, wheat, and a hydromelon, I think. Butter, sugar, wheat, hydromelon. Butter, sugar, wheat, hydromelon. Butter, sugar, wheat, hydromelon. Butter, sugar, wheat, hydromelon. This is going to be a heat resistance dish, but it might be a really good one. And we got a bonus, guys. <laughs> Chili fruit pie grants mid-level heat resistance. A celebration isn't a celebration until this fruit-filled crust hits the table. <laughs> cool. You can definitely start to see a pattern with the different recipes. Butter and sugar and wheat are all very, very popular ingredients. Hey, I got my Master Sword back. I love it. Uh... Kachu. <laughs> Bless you. Gur, we've lost a lot of business ever since that Divine Beast started stomping out in the desert. The sound of the Divine Beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. You want to stay? Yeah, I do, actually. Give me one of them soft beds, but what makes it soft? Uh -huh. The soft bed has been carefully crafted from cuckoo feathers. It's designed to leave you full of energy when you wake. That sounds nice. I'll take the soft one. Mm. One soft bed coming up. We offer a mandatory wake-up shout. When would you like it? In the morning. <laughs> Sleep well, Savor. Ah, much better. Savara. Wasn't that bed the softest? Take care and safe travels to you. Thanks, Kachu. <laughs> Alright, so what do you bring to the table, Shai Lu? Huh? Shail Lu? Basak. Oh, the sock. Hey, you seen a sneaky guy? Mm. A sneaky what? You mean a Vo sneaking around town? I haven't seen anyone like that. There's a Hylian Vi who likes to relax on the roof, though in the afternoon it's probably too hot up there. Oh, he goes up on the roof. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> what are you selling? Oh. I only sell arrows. They're on the counter to your left if you're looking for something else. Try Gerudo Town. Okay. Oh, right. Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. 
For such a fucking strict mm -hmm. law, they all seem to forget pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please only speak to me if you need something. What a bitch. Alright, let's see if this person's up on the roof. It is morning time, so... Just looking around for Koroks and whatnot. Oh, 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 okay. Hello, shifty person! I'm gonna need your help. Hee hee hee. Vilia says, oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? Mm -hmm. What's that? You've heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town. Oh. oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry I couldn't be more help. Study her face or squint suspiciously. <laughs> I like that one. Oh. <laughs> You're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're a man? Mm -hmm. Oh my, you sure say the funniest things, young man. Anyway, if you don't need anything, you should be off then. No, no. Let's try that again. Well, well, you still haven't given up on your search for the man who snuck into Gerudo Town. I told you I didn't know anything. Do you always doubt someone's word? Study your face. Mm. You're making my cheeks warm. You're very beautiful. Ah. Oh, such a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? You want to buy them for 600 rupees? Jeez. That's expensive. I mean, I can afford it, but uh, there's probably not a better deal, so... Okay. Oh. It's a deal, then. I'll take your rupees now. Thanks mm. for that. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. <laughs> eee! You look adorable! Ah, oh. uh, <laughs> just as I thought. You make for quite a good-looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. It's such a striking look around here, I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat, at least a little. Okay, good, I was wondering about that. Mm. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. Mm -hmm. If you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Make sure you watch out for the wind. <laughs> oh. If you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. <laughs> Wait, are there different styles? Can I can I pick my lady clothing that I wear? Oh. That giant monster cloaked in the sandstorm. If I recall correctly, it's called a divine beast. I hear it started wandering the Gerudo Desert several weeks ago. I wonder what it is exactly. Apparently, the chief of Gerudo Town is having a lot of trouble figuring out how to handle the situation. One thing's for sure: they'd be helpless if the divine beast headed for town. Mm. That being said, you look adorable. With those clothes, anyone around here might think you're a nice girl. <laughs> okay. Is that all you got? Yeah. Hey. Okay. I guess this is what we're stuck with, guys. We do look pretty fetching in this, I must say. And it looks like they give us a, just enough heat resistance. Well, it's not really daytime yet, but yeah. That's cool. So this is all... Yep, it's three pieces... And not a ton of defense. I wonder if they're upgradable, though. I don't know. But now that we have that figured out, we should be able to get into the town. Now, here's what I'm going to do, guys. First, I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to cook a couple speed potions. Maybe try and use some of my critters and whatnot, because I don't make a ton of potions. I tend to make more food. But... I want to do some potions, too. The hot-footed frog is a critter that will give us extra speed. So if we make, like... If we just take one of them... And then throw it in with, like... Four Lizalfo's Talons. That's going to be a long-working... One-speed upgrade potion, right? <laughs> I think that's how it works. Yeah, one speed upgrade for eight minutes. Okay. But what if I want the three speed upgrade? In that case, we would have to do, like, three of the frogs? 
Oh, three is probably only gonna give us a two speed boost. But I have to try it. I have to. I have to know for sure. <laughs> yep, I was afraid of that. Uh, that sucks. If only I had more frogs. Are there any other critters that give us speed? Honestly, uh, what's stamina? Stealth. Aha, the high tail lizards. Okay. So let's do four of them. And then like a really nice monster part. Like a Hinox toe or something. I should have one of those. A Lionel hoof. This says it may have uses beyond that. Oh, that's probably good for like upgrades. Let's do a Hinox toenail. And I hope this will result in a really nice potion. Are you fucking kidding me? I used four goddamn lizards in that potion and it gives me one for five minutes. That's extremely upsetting, guys. I can't hide it. I'm a little peeved off about that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Maybe I should just stick to what I know. Fuck the critters, fuck the potions, let's just sell all that shit. I, see, I read that the potions are actually better. The Monster Park potions have, like, a uh, potential for a better result than the cooking dishes. But that is not the case based on what I just experienced right there. So, fuck if I know. Um, yeah, the Rush Rooms will give us more speed, but... I don't know if we want to be saving those to trade for a diamond. It probably doesn't matter that much. But if we have any other speed boosting food items, we should probably use those first, right? The Endura Carrots. Uh, no, that's for stamina. Swift Carrots. Yeah. That's probably the right one. The problem is we don't have a lot of them. But let's toss them in with... Um, what would go good with Carrots, guys? Something that doesn't have an effect of its own, obviously. Maybe just like a piece of meat. Carrots and meat? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, give me that boost, girl. And that was still only two. Oh, oh. Oh, that was with a boost. It only gave me two speed boosts. Fuck. Okay, that's fine, though. So rather than running the whole way across the desert back to the town, I'm actually going to fast travel out of here, and I'm just going to go see if we can alter these clothes at all.